Now we're going to take the same set of data but create a different type of graph. Construct a frequency polygon for the data. And this is the same group of data for which we have a frequency distribution. So we notice that our data values go from 3 to 10, and our frequencies, the highest frequency we have, is a 3. So let's start off by, along our horizontal axis, putting down our data values. We're going to mark off 1, 2, and then we'll start with our 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are our values. And then along our vertical axis, we're going to put our frequencies. And the frequencies, we need 1, 2, 3. Now, for a frequency polygon, we're going to use ordered pairs. That is, we're going to plot the point 3, 1. And then we'll plot the point 4, 2. Plot the point 5, 3. Next, we'll plot the point 6, 2. And then I'm going to go ahead and notice 7, 2. So we'll have 6, 2 and 7, 2. Then we have 8, 3. And then we have 9, 2 and 10, 1. So 9, 2 here and 10, 1. And now for a frequency polygon, what we're going to do is connect the dots with line segments. So we'll end up connecting, and then once more, connecting, moving from left to right. And that's our completed frequency polygon.